Welcome to 222 Ministry International. Our ministry's main goal is to follow the Great Commission to the whole world. 222 comes from 2 Timothy 2.2. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. That is why we name it ministry, because we believe that the Great Commission is not a ministry from the church, but the ministry for the church. And international because the Bible says in Acts 1.8, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and into the uttermost parts of the earth. The word both in that verse tells us that as we fulfill the Great Commission, we don't only have to work in our Jerusalem, but also at the same time work in our Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. This is a great task. But it's not impossible because the Lord gave us the commandment. And He will never request anything from us that we will not be able to accomplish. And He gave us the greatest gift anybody can have, and that is the Holy Spirit. He gave us Himself in Jesus when He died for us on the cross, that we may have eternal life by believing on Him. He is the only way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but by Him. And the way we accomplish this great commission is by going ourselves and making disciples of the nations. This can be done by taking mission trips or sending others to go to the mission field and supporting those that go financially, and most importantly, with our prayers. But as the church, we all have to do something to fulfill the great commission, because we can. My name is Adrian Hernandez, and this is my beautiful wife, Marisa Hernandez. We are currently serving as full-time missionaries in the amazing country of Guatemala. Guatemala is a country in Central America bordered by Mexico to the north and west, the Pacific Ocean to the southwest, Belize to the northeast, and Honduras and El Salvador to the east. It has a population of 16 million and is the country in Central America with the most people. Guatemala means in Mayan, place of many trees. But Guatemala doesn't only have many trees, it also has many volcanoes. There are 28 volcanoes total, and 14 are still active today. Every once in a while, we feel a little tremor shaking our houses, or even waking us up at 2 a.m. due to these giants. Here in Guatemala, we have been honored to plant two churches among the Mayan people. The first one in the small town of Santiago Zacatepeques, with a population of approximately 28,000 people which 90% of them speak Spanish in Mayan Cachiquel. Our second church is located in the small town called Santo Domingo, Xenaco. This is a small town with approximately 20,000 people, and it is also a Mayan region. We love having church with these people every Sunday, and have since ever come to the Lord. One of our favorite things to do is to have Bible studies in their own homes during the week. When we gather together, we worship, share the Word of God, somebody gets saved, we always have new visitors, and of course we always eat. It's like having church every day. We also have the blessing of sharing the gospel every Friday at noon through a secular radio station that reaches over 350,000 people. What a great opportunity to make an impact in people's lives through this way of ministry. We also have the opportunity from time to time to teach and preach in the public middle school with over 320 kids. And we're able to tell them that Jesus loves them and have the opportunity to counsel and pray with them. By the way, there's another middle school in the area that heard what we're doing and have invited us to do the same with them as well with 500 students. If the Lord gives us the opportunity to do that, that will be more than 800 students that will be hearing the gospel twice a week. What an honor and privilege that will be for us. Our future ministries are to teach English as a second language in both villages, which is a great avenue to reach all ages, but in particular, the teenagers and young adults. We also would like to start teaching in our buildings how to read and write to the large population in both villages who can't. Just in our churches, 40 to 60% of them don't know how to read and write. It will be a great victory for us to see them one day be able to read by themselves, John 3.16. From time to time, we collect reading glasses from the United States. You know, those reading glasses that you buy for a dollar pretty much anywhere. And with those, we do eyeglass campaigns where we examine and give the glasses for free. 
They have become a great tool in our ministry to open doors for us in different villages. And it is also a way of showing people the love of Christ. At the same time, we bring the gospel to them so they can not only be helped with their physical side, but also with their spiritual blindness. Many times it isn't easy being in the mission field and there is always the need for help. We pray every day that the Lord will send somebody who can partner with us in reaching these precious people for Christ. But also at the same time, one of our main goals is to make disciples of them so they may reach their own people. That is what 222 Ministry International is all about. Come and visit us if you would like to invest your life into somebody else's. You might not know the language, but if you have Christ in your heart, you already know the main language, which is love. We will take you to the villages so you can be part of our Bible studies, where you can worship with us, share the Word of God with us, see somebody getting saved, and of course, eat a lot. We will also take you to a volcano hike where you will be able to roast marshmallows over hot lava rock. And yes, that was the best marshmallow I've ever eaten. And also, you will enjoy the beautiful scenery of Guatemala, and at the same time, it's beautiful people who are in need of the gospel and sound doctrine. Please don't forget to pray for us as we continue this labor for Him. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you.